In legal documents, that payout is estimated to be between $230,000 to $500,000 for a superintendent who was not fired but wanted to resign. He says he's been the victim of racism. Mar McDonald is live in Clinton Township tonight. Mar, whether the board had the authority to do this goes in front of a judge in the morning. That's right, Kimberly. And here is the central question of what this whole lawsuit is saying. Should the Clintondale School Board have seated a candidate who won a spot on the school board in November before last week's meeting where they voted on that buyout for the current superintendent? And if the board should have seated that candidate, does that mean that that buyout is even legal? I would have stayed here. You probably wouldn't have had to buy my contract out or separate from me, but because of the racism that I have faced yeah. ever the last year, the last nine months, yeah. but just a few folks out here, I'm not saying everybody, but there's a few, and they know who they are. The meeting where Rodriguez Broadnax resigned and received that buyout was heated. The board voted four to three to authorize the payout, which in court documents is estimated to be between two hundred and thirty to five hundred thousand dollars. In a lawsuit filed today, incoming school board member Jared Maynard, who was elected to fulfill a partial term, says, "Hold on." When I ran for office, I ran for a partial term, meaning I ran to finish the term of a person who resigned, and under Michigan law. I should have been seated on the board when the certification came from the county clerk that I had won the election. Which was November 28th. The lawsuit asks for a temporary restraining order against the district and to seat Maynard on the school board immediately and nullify the buyout. This, the latest twist in what has been a tumultuous couple of months for the superintendent and the board. At issue, questionable spending on a school board junket to California. The Clinton Township Police Department investigated and sent a warrant request to the prosecutor's office. At this point, no warrant has been signed against Broadnax or any board member. Back here live, in speaking to an attorney who has nothing to do with this case, but who does have a specialty in election law, he says the question posed in this lawsuit is an interesting one. He handicaps it, though, at probably less than 50-50 that the plaintiff gets the outcome that he's desiring. But once again, let's see what the judge does tomorrow, Kimberly. We're live in Clinton Township. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. We'll be watching it. Okay, Mara, thank you.